Welcome back to Nelson Creek Farm, everybody. I hope you all are having a real good, happy 4th of July, and I get to see you all on the 5th with all 10 digits. What am I doing for my 4th of July? Well, not anything I had intended on doing. Replacing battery cables in the little Ford pickup isn't one of them. And changing out the starter in the old half-ton truck, that isn't what I had planned to do either. Well, some of you got fuel prices in the six seven dollar range they're five and a quarter five and a half here and quite honestly i can't afford to beat without this little pickup at 27 to 31 miles a gallon that beats the heck out of the old white ford half ton and it's 12 miles a gallon any day of the week so what has happened is I need to replace the battery cables in this pickup. They're, uh, they are in a wiring harness, uh, a heavy cabled loom of some sort. I don't know where they all go to. Um, yeah, a couple of hundred bucks to replace the whole wiring assembly, but I'm going to take it apart and see if I can't just replace the cables. Save myself a few bucks and put a better type of cable on it, maybe a little heavier cable than what I have in it, and uh, maybe it'll last me another 20 years. Now on to a little bit of a different note. I want to do something I don't normally do on this channel, just because I normally don't. I don't have time to edit out everything and do everything and wish everybody well or whatever other than in a group but in this one particular instance i was cornered at my in-town job by a young fan of mine i guess for a fan of the channel anyway so a big shout out to jesse ray you know who you are there's a little something for you so go bug victoria to get it out of her locker at work anyway thanks for watching and subscribing and we've picked up some new subscribers so thank you very much for tuning in to Nelson Creek Farm. Now, Jesse, I know you've heard this before, so don't give it away. We all know that Captain Hook fought an alligator and lost his hand. Where did he buy that hook from? Give up? A second-hand store, of course. <laughs> In the last video, I went over to Iron Mound Farm and picked up that seat out of that old blue and brown 89 Ford half-ton pickup. And as you can see behind me, I've got it installed. It seats really nicely and comfortably. So, yeah, definite upgrade for the old Ford half-ton. So what else does an old fart like me do on a national holiday? Well... I wander back over to the Iron Mound farm again. No, I didn't bring home the little International Super AI tractor today. It's still sitting over at Iron Mound farm, but as soon as I can get a pickup and a trailer lined up, it'll be here at Nelson Creek farm. One thing I did get, there's the happy finger. <laughs> get that thing out of here. Anyway, what I did grab, I was this ugly little cousin, I did grab the hood off of that brown and tan 89 Ford for my son-in-law. So Mark, there's your new hood that is straighter than the one you got. And Mark, don't worry about it. I won't breathe the soul to anybody about how your car hauling trailer tried to do a Dukes of Hazard jump over the hood of your pickup while you was loading it. Yeah, won't say a word to nobody about it. Thank you. 
besides the hood for the son-in-law was this little thing here a little black plastic round button thing on the top bent wire and it's attached to this hunk of metal yeah I wanted to get some new door lock mechanisms or latches to go in the doors of the old white Ford half ton the reason why I pulled those off of that other pickup is because I am missing the sliding door locks mechanism that goes right here in the door panels and since I want to replace these panels with a new panel that isn't all broke, discolored, and otherwise just nasty, the new panels don't have this hole in it. But they have the hole up here for those push buttons. So while these panels are loose, and I, after I get the new ones, I'm going to change out those lock mechanisms, or latch mechanisms, here in the end of the door. As you may recall from the previous video, I even changed out the battery cables on this old pickup and now they're all color coordinated instead of a blue one here and a black one here and a black one there. Yeah. And a helpful tip from Farmer Dave to you, if any of you have an old Ford pickup like this with that 300 straight six in it, if you go to get a new positive battery cable from the starter solenoid that mounts on the inside of the fender down to the starter they'll tell you it's a 36 incher that's a flat out lie save yourself some heartache and get you a 42 inch battery cable otherwise that motor gets to twist in a little bit when you start it or you stomp on the fuel that thing's going to twist that cable and the starter solenoid and whatever else all to pieces been there done that yeah Oh, don't mind me, I'm just texting a message back to Alvis over at Old Red Tractors. Yeah, interesting fellow. Great channel. Check it out. Anyway, I just saw something on Facebook that was really rather kind of funny. It says, Welcome to Facebook. Please be patient. Someone will be along with you shortly to disagree with you. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that the truth? Did you all hear that the inventor of autocorrect for your cell phone and your computer has passed away? Yeah, the funnel will be held tomato. <laughs> well, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. I'm gonna go in and get it all put together and upload it and get it shot out to you. So, like I said, hope you all have an awesome and wonderful 4th of July holiday weekend. Hope to see you all back here shortly and I'm going to have all 10 of my fingers. Yes, I am. I'm not going to play with any uh, fireworks tonight. I'm going to sit up on the barn roof and not fall off and watch the fireworks from around here. Okay, I'm not getting up on the barn roof again. Yeah, But I am going to sit down and watch the fireworks from here because I can see four or five different municipalities sending up fireworks from right here at Nelson Creek Farm. So anyway, I'm Farmer Dave, wishing you all well. Thank you again to your new subscribers. Thank you, Jesse for the inspiration for one of the dad jokes, and we'll catch up with you later. I'm Farmer Dave. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.